We're in the middle of the Baton Rouge chemical plant, ExxonMobil's Baton Rouge chemical plant. It's a joint complex with our refinery here on Scenic Highway in almost downtown Baton Rouge. We produce many chemicals in this plant, many that are used in your, in your everyday lives from diapers to packaging to adhesives to um, tire manufacturing and things like that. And what's going on at the plant now? We're in the middle of a turnaround, about two weeks into a turnaround. Um, a turnaround for us is when we basically bring a unit down to do maintenance and any capital project work that we want to do. As you can see over here, we're in the process of installing a large tower. In fact, we're using the largest pedestal crane in the world to do this. Um, this project that we're doing here will actually improve energy in the plant. It will improve our reliability as well as increase our capacity here in Baton Rouge. And we've got about 1,600 people on site right now working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, I'm really happy to say that we've actually worked almost three quarters of a million hours already. We've had a couple minor first aids, but the safety performance of the work crew out here and the people have been, has been outstanding. What's the timeline to get the project finished? We'll be starting up later this year. We had the tower lifted up in place. Uh, there's large sets of counterweights that are used for this pedestal type, type crane environment um, and from where it is now they're going to slowly boom that crane over the location over its footing and slowly lower it in place. So over the next couple of hours it will be lowered in place and secured to a foundation. We have several months left on the activity toward the end of the year we're going to be finalized on the entire uh, event itself. We were able to remove 170 foot long tower out of the heart of our Olefins unit and this morning we're going back in uh, in its place with a brand new uh, improved tower that's really going to set us up for long term reliability, energy efficiency and sustainability on our units. This is uh, the largest pedestal crane in the world. It's a 2500 ton uh, pedestal crane from Deep South which is a, a local contractor here that we partnered with uh, really a couple of years ago in order to help us facilitate the lift of these these towers. This tower is part of our Olefins unit. It's one of the key components, uh, really the heart of our Olefins unit. Uh, by replacing this tower with an older um, tower that was over 35 years old, we're able to improve reliability and energy efficiency and productivity on our unit. What does the tower actually do? This is uh, our caustic tower, which is one of the key components of the Olefins process. It allows us to process um, gases and remove the components that we really don't, uh, don't want to purify in part of the process. We actually started the scoping on this project, this activity, over four years ago. And I was put in place as the venture manager about three years ago to pull a team together to finalize the planning activities, pull an execution team together that really culminates in a couple of months of field activity where we're going to be implementing more than $150 million worth of investment. The crane is a, uh, a Versa crane manufactured and designed by Deep South Crane and Rigging. Uh, its total capacity uh, is 2,500 tons. Uh, it is a versatile type crane, i.e. the name Versa Crane, and it can fit into a tight space, a tight hole to handle large loads. Uh, presently it is sitting in a very tight space where they had to build the boom over pipe racks and uh, uh, over different sections of an existing plant around it. They're lifting a caustic tower. The tower is uh, approximately 230 tons and they're having to set it uh, back about uh, the distance of a football field, 320 feet. So it, it's a very unique operation, a specialized uh, operation with a very specialized crane. It's a very slow process. What you're gonna see is they basically uh, have tailed up the crane. They have a, uh, what we call a tailing crane, a secondary crane that gets on one end and tell the, the vessel that was in the horizontal position goes vertical. Once it goes vertical, they pick it up, bring it close to them so that they can swing around 
and hook into an auxiliary counterweight tray. That auxiliary counterweight tray then, once hooked into, we start stacking some additional counterweights on it to help alleviate the ground bearing pressure. And once that is done, then they'll start the slow boom down process uh, to set it on the foundation. What kind of mathematical uh, equations are necessary to pull off an engineering feat like this? Pretty much all of the mathematical equations are built into the crane. Now, our rigging engineers do go through a, a, a long process utilizing our crane charts, uh, the radius of what we've got to work with, uh, all of the parameters of the ground bearing pressure, making sure that we keep under that and, and, dis and distribute the the loads through the outriggers. So we generate our own reading plans for this type of operation and have it reviewed by the plant before we uh, begin our, our lifting process. Deep South Crane and Rigging is the, uh, the designer, manufacturer, and the owner and operator of the Versa Crane series. Uh, Deep South is a local Baton Rouge home office, is the main area of uh, of where our, our office is at, and uh, employing oh, roughly 120 uh, people from the area. Um, we have a series of Versa cranes, from this one being the 2,500 ton capacity crane that's making this lift right now, down to a 750 ton crawler crane. Our plant makes high purity ethylene and propylene, which goes into polyethylene and polypropylene, things like trash bags, milk jugs, final products like that. And how is this project gonna uh, improve that process? This project helps us with our reliability, continuing to make sure that we are strong producers of propylene and ethylene, and also it helps us with our feed flexibility, giving us advantage in raw materials, and finally with energy efficiency, being the most energy efficient producer of ethylene and propylene. I'm really happy that the company is investing in the Baton Rouge chemical plant. To me that says that we as a company believe that Baton Rouge is a sustainable site. It says that we're a, a good low cost producer of ethylene and propylene which means that we're going to be here for the community, for jobs, for not only ourselves but also our kids. What it's going to mean for, uh, for the chemical plant is more reliable, sustained operation much better energy efficiency overall in, a, in that process. And for the local environment, you know, we have over 15, 1,600 people today uh, working on this activity. Uh, most of those are from the, from the local area. So it's, it's really a win-win for the local area as well as Baton Rouge ExxonMobil. You gotta be excited about a project like this. Uh, we're always excited about working on a specialized and unique project, especially with Exxon. Uh, we, we do work with Exxon in this facility quite a bit, uh, especially on the unique projects, and uh, also with Exxon in uh, the, the Houston area, Baytown area, and Beaumont area. So uh, they're a very good client, and uh, we try to do our best work for them because of the fact that uh, it's unique, everything that we do in these existing plants. We spend a lot of money in this plant that is a big boost to the Baton Rouge economy. If you look at the total payroll that we have on, on this particular effort, the 1,600 people will spend about $80 million just in, just in a few months on this particular effort. And we spend many hundreds of millions of dollars to boost the local economy here. This is really what economic development is. We're developing projects, we're building projects in this site that will really ensure the long-term viability of our business. And when this project is uh, finished, what, what will it mean uh, not only for the company but uh, for the people in the area? We, we shut down periodically to do this work. We'll have a clean, reliable, safe plant here um, that will be more energy efficient, we'll have a little more capacity, and our reliability will be better. So overall, we'll be able to make more or provide more economic benefit to the to the people of Baton Rouge.